In September 2021, HBU spoke to Armenian master jazz pianist Bahagan Haidapetian to get his insights on Armenia's rising generation of cool cats and how their take on the genre has evolved since his time. He also spoke about the ups and downs of the opportunities they now have that he didn't back when he was growing up. Raised to the sound of jazz greats such as Thelonious Monk, Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie at a time when listening to that kind of music could get you thrown into a KGB cell, Hayrapetian later spent several years in New York City under the tutelage of American jazz pianist Barry Harris, among others. The Yerevan-bred jazzman has since graced the stages of some of the best clubs in the world and is widely considered a pioneer of the genre at home. Well, John, thanks for taking the time. Um, Thank you. And uh, let me just jump in with the first question. Go ahead. So what are your thoughts on the newer generation of jazz musicians in Armenia? Okay, good question. Because we have a lot of young cats playing jazz, interested in jazz, learning jazz, even teaching jazz. I think they teach privately and if you talk to them, there is some little school they made, you know, like young generation gathering together and learning from it because jazz music is learning from each other there's not one teacher and teaching everybody one can be a guide to some other young mm -hmm. people this is what i did but i learned from them mm -hmm. they they have one teacher but i have 10 you know right <laughs> and so who who have been your teachers well, basically the legends, the, right. the real legends, mm -hmm. Thelonious Mon, Bob Powell, Art Tatum, Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, there's a lot of them. But the, the ones I really learned from is Barry Harris. Uh, I studied with him now for maybe 20 years now in New York. Right. When I was there, I, I met him in 1996, I think, or five. And Till this day, I have questions, and he's he's the one learning from me too. That's that's what I learned from him. Barry Harris is like uh, the main the main fig one of the main figures in jazz. Right. Because most of the big names that you can name it, like Paul Chambers, like Donald Byrd, like John Coltrane, like Joe Zabino, like m many of them. They, they went to study with him to, when he was in Detroit. Wow. Yeah, he was he was one of the founders of the Detroit jazz scene. Well, I'm learning from the source. <laughs> that's 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 who I'm learning from. So what about the the new generation in Armenia? The new generation, see, it's all continuation. You know, mm -hmm. first of all, let me tell you this, man. When when I was uh, in my middle age, like mm -hmm. when when I was growing up. There was not, not that many jazz musicians in Armenia. There was a lot of good musicians, like David Azarian, right? I learned from him too. Right. He had a wonderful trio. He, had, he was a wonderful person, and he was open. There was another guy named Artashas Kartalian. You know, mm -hmm. they had, he had his own trio. But we didn't have trumpet players. We didn't have that many saxophone players. We didn't have trombone players, like those people. Now, like example, when I was forming by fusion band Cartoon Edge. Uh -huh. There was not a many trumpet. There was only one improviser trumpet there. He was Yervan Markaria, and he right. was busy. So that, <laughs> because he's the only one. <laughs> now, there, there are like maybe five or six good trumpet players, maybe more. I don't even know. But it's good that there's a good trombone player, there's a couple of great saxophone players besides Armin Houston. So David Melkonian, great alto player, soprano player. There was a, as a trumpet player, great trumpet player, David's brother, Daniel Melkonian, fantastic trumpet mm -hmm. player. There was great trumpet, there is a great trumpet player, Tigran Harutsunyan, who's young, just came back from the army. And young piano players, mm -hmm. there's a great cat by the name of Aaron Grigorian. Another young guy who's come, who's just coming up, Rafael Petrosian. Great guitar player. Not too many jazz guitar players in Armenia either. It's right now there's one field. guy, Nick Terhovanisian, he's beautiful. Mm -hmm. He sings, he plays, he knows harmony, he has a feeling, you know, yeah. he's learning, you know, because 
The thing is, with jazz musicians, you know, here especially, they come to, to some kind of point that they get gigs, you mm -hmm. know, and they stop learning. Because they think they've yeah, they reached know, the top. They know like tw 25 songs, uh -huh. and they play all these 25 songs. That's not good. And For Yerevan location, it's good. Mm -hmm. But when you go outside, be careful. You cannot go on the bandstand and turn on your phone and look at the phone and and, and play. Right. You know, what if your girlfriend will call you? <laughs> that's how I. That's how I tell them every time. Every time they come with the iPads, and I and want them to be serious what they're doing. You know, right. not only not only learn those two, 25, 50 songs maximum right. that they know and they play around in, but it's not enough for music. And do you feel like some of the, the bands that call themselves jazz bands, that that's what they do? Yeah, then they go to pop music to make more money. Right. But the pop music, you know, it's okay, you make more money, but then you become a, you become a machine. You, 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 first of all, there's no music artistry and, the, and there's no musical connection because you play like a playback every day you play the same same songs the same way right that's the difference between creative music like that jazz music or and and, and the other like a cover bands you know right great cover we have a great cover bands they play all like pop songs and everything but i, I would never do that because I cannot go to the same place every night and play same songs same way. Because music is communication, is creativity. Right. Even like let's let's even like put aside jazz. Let's forget about jazz for a minute. But any kind of music should have a creative, uh, creative process. Right. Any kind of playing should have a creative process. If you're playing somebody's, even if you're playing somebody else's song, you have to you have to be able to put your signature. Uh, then, then they say, even if you play the most like uh, the most like rubbish, like corny song, right? Then you say, ah, this is him, because they they know it's you. You know that this is this is this is. This is what the jazz gives you. It's, it's not important you be, you become a good jazz musician, but to be creative artist, that's important. For me, musician is to, is not the one who has the conservatory diploma. Right. It's the one who gives his life to music. That's the one. Let me, in that case, move on to the next question. Um, how does the approach to this particular genre um, in, in, in among the youth either defer or resemble your own approach as an up-and-coming musician? Okay, let me tell you, when I was young, I was not even thinking to, to be able to make money. I was not even like, there was not one idea that I can make, I can make a living out of that. All I was thinking to learn more, I was always, I'm still hungry to learn, you know? That's, that's, the, that's the key to this music, you know? You have to be always stay hungry mm -hmm. to learn one more song, one more thing, one more color, one more composition, one more, it's something, something more. So that you cannot come up with your own thing out of, out of nowhere, you know? You have to have a foundation. When you have a foundation, then you can do anything you want because you can stand on your feet. Right. You can stand on your ground. You have a strong foundation. Then you do some any any kind any kind of crazy thing you can do. But when I was young, we were jumping out of the window from the school, running to some kind of like a little place that has one speaker and one amplifier, and we would jam. We would write songs. We would rehearse before. Like when I was growing up, like 70s, 80s, 90s, there was not so many information. Before, I used to have one like LP, mm -hmm. which is like maybe six songs. We would listen to that. Like we would learn those songs upside down with the solos, with the bre with everything. We would gather like 10 people at somebody's house, or like in my house, there would be always a lot of people. And we would sit down and listen to music. Well, I was a big music listener. 
I used to have LPs, and there was no CDs, tapes, and LPs, you know, and radio. The Voice of America Jazz Hour, with this kind of The very bad frequency, very right. bad uh, reception, yeah? So, but we were, I, would, I, would, I would put a big radio under my pillow, uh, just listen to Duke Ellington, listen to Count Basie, listen to... I didn't even know who they are yet. And my grandmother, because she was a Soviet Soviet lady, she would say, hide that radio, they'll come and KGB will come and you know, catch you. <laughs> but this is it. We were we uh, we did we were dedicated, you know, to this. We I gave my life to music, that's it. So how about the new generation? Yeah, that's what I wish for new generation, because new generation now, they're all good, they're all great, but they're so busy playing already, you know. They learn some things, they know a lot of other stuff, you know, but they have always gigs. This is great. You have always, you have, you, it's, it's great. You know, I wasn't, when I was young, I wasn't dreaming to have that many yeah. performances every night. But that also, in the other hand, you're not concentrating on one thing. You know, you go and play here and then somebody else will call, will call you, go play some, something else. And then you, somebody else will play. Will call you for a marriage party. You go play there. One restaurant they want to go to. It's like a mess. So up. you're a bit all over the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're not concentrating on your, on your own. Right. Let's put it that way. You know. So this is for, that's why today's young generation. I wish they'll put more time and be more serious. I see. You know, mm -hmm. be more serious what they do. Because example, if these guys, the young young guys, great musicians, don't get me wrong, right. but if they go to New York, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. How about the newcomers? You mentioned the few that are really talented, are really good. Do you feel like they put in the time to to really sort of yes, get into yes, music? some of them yes, some of them the, the ones I mentioned yes, you, but no, also go ahead, let go me ahead. let me tell you of this course, of course. today today to be a good musician is not enough. First of all, first of all, you have to be creative. You have to have your own message. In that case, let me ask you one last question and then I'll, I'll leave you be. What opportunities do young Armenian jazz musicians have nowadays in accessing the genre that your generation didn't have? Uh, first of all, information. Now the young people, they have a lot of information. Places to play. We didn't have places to play that many. Clubs. We didn't have clubs. When we start having clubs, I was, let me see, I was like 20 something, 20. I was young too, but there was only one club. And the, and the funny thing about that club, only one band was playing in that club every night. Some people, they wouldn't even let me go play. Oh, there was one good club, uh, it's called, it, it was at Vernissage, where Narigasi Center is right now. It's called, I don't know if it was called David or something, that kind of club. That's the first club we started making money. Yeah, I was like, wow, really? Like 20 office. rubles for what I'm playing, that's a lot. And when you say um, information, you mean the internet, YouTube, music? Yeah, 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 yeah. In one hand is good, in the other hand is not too good. Why, because you get dispersed? You get that, and then first of all, the quality is not that. Like when we when we used to listen to the vinyls, yeah. even with the Russian amplifiers and the Russian turntables, uh -huh. it still sounds more natural than we we listen with uh, YouTube and like with uh, little headphones and it's like a tiny tiny sound. That and then teachers, too. You know, our old generation we didn't have that many teachers. You know. I would go sit like next to David Azarian, for example, or go to his house sometimes. And we didn't have to, we didn't have chance to listen to them in the clubs daily. Mm -hmm. He would want maximum what what they would do. Like they make, they give concert at like our Khachaturian concert hall, like once a month or something. Right, right. You couldn't go to the club and listen to this guy or to the other guy. That was it. You know? But it was great. I, I love the time I grew up, you know, because that makes me, that forced me to do things that I would not do it now. Right. That makes me, like those days, 
we would go, like, I would fly from Yerevan to Moscow to buy an LP of Michel Petrucciani, for example, wow. for 50 rubles. Like, I would pay another, like, maybe 70 rubles to pay, to, to get one LP for 50 rubles. Or we would go to Georgia, get like, that. this is how the enthusiasm was. And when you have that one LP, it's like a goal for you, you know? Right. You listen to that, you analyze that, because you that's the only source you have. Right. And then everybody starts copying from me. Seriously. Everybody, even since the same David Azarian, he borrowed from me, he cut. And it was back then, you, you it was very dangerous to give a LP to somebody. You have to go by yourself, you put your... Because if there's one scratch, yeah. it's done, you know? So you feel like, um, and, and I'll stop there, but if, if I understand you correctly, you feel like this greater access to information and music and whatnot has also devalued it a bit. It's become less... Yes, yes, um, definitely. ...sought out by sure, these young musicians. Sure, sure. Thank you, Vahag, for taking the time and sharing your thoughts.